video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a mosaic for on a completely fresh new document. You don't have to use mosaic with existing images like using the clone color and all that sort of thing and using trace paper. I've done that in other videos so I'm not going to show that but you can use it just with a completely blank white document or any color document and apply tiles. So I'm just going to quickly apply tiles like that. Now click OK. Quickly show you where the actual mosaic thing is. So make mosaic. So make mosaic and tessellation there, but obviously it's just down here in the Esoterica. So make mosaic. So go into there and you can start, stop, start, whatever. You don't have to con you don't have to stay in the panel. It's all there. It's vector information that's stored. It's a bit like brush strokes, but they're not really, it's basically completely different. It's sort of like vector information that you can. Literally, you can't really, you can't remove, there's no freeze feature, there's no way of storing it, saving it, and then that's it. This is applied, and there's no layer feature with the thing, so you can't overlay, nor can you actually, when you actually apply the, the actual mosaics, you can't actually go on them. So if you actually go over there, you say like, draw over there, it doesn't make a difference. The tile is there, the tile is there. There's no overlapping the tiles feature. So you can, like I say, draw a whole range of different things, See there, you can change the tile color obviously within the thing. You can also modify the variability over here so you can actually say apply there. So you can change variability, see blues and there again. I like that, you can vary and tweak that, but I'm not going to do that at that point. Apply tiles that's that one. Obviously, you can modify the width and length. So if you go small, you can see it like little very, very, very tiny dots. It actually makes it very hard to select. So probably not the best of things like that small. There's also pressure settings as well, as well as grout. So you can change the grout, grout color. That's universal for the whole thing. So it all goes purple or white. So I'm going to go with white. And let's say clone source is that's great if you've got an existing painting. Now. There's other features within this. There's also start with a triangle. So actually if I go there and you actually draw that, you can see a little triangle there. That's it. There's also a randomness feature, which, which is interesting, creates some sort of variability in the application. They're not as, you can see that there's a lot of variability compared with that. Personally, I always keep it to dimensions. Now, you can also clear it. So if you don't like that one, yes, clear it. I don't want that. So I apply some additional ones. You can also go to remove tiles. So if you suddenly say, I don't want any of this, what I can do is I can just then go over and remove. Just paint over there. Okay. Also, what you can do is select tiles. Now, obviously, there's not many tiles now for me to select. So, but I'm just going to say select tiles. I can go over. Now, if you've got red tiles, you might not actually notice you've selected them. And sometimes they're actually quite fiddly to select. But you go over, especially if they're very small. So you go over there and you see a little tiny red around there. Unfortunately, you can't change the color of that. So you, if you've got red tiles, tricky. But green, but then sometimes, like I say, you go over it and it doesn't seem to work. It's weird. Well, you can select all tiles as well, but once you've actually done that, you can also use color. So say you what got over here, you got green. Now, got, can I come out of there? Got the clone color. Don't want that. So mosaic tile color. Go back to there again. Select tiles and color again. So I'm going to go red. For some weird reason that seems to uh, doesn't always seem to work at times. Change the color there, color, you can see it goes to white. Has a mind of its own sometimes on that. Right, then also you've got tint. So you can say I'm gonna go for blue and tint. And you can click there and it will see it going slowly but surely to blue. Okay there, tint, dark and darker blue. You also vary, so vary, you can click vary. Now that doesn't seem to do anything until you go down here, hue variability and saturation, and so vary. And you can see then a whole range of different varied colors just by clicking that. And that just depends on this. So just gonna reduce that down, I don't want that. So next thing, change tile colors. 
So I'm going to add a few more tiles because there's not much to see there particularly. So you can just quickly so add some more. Just going to add a few more colours there and there. And red there. Now, go back to the one that I was going to show. Change tiles colours. This colour there, I'm going to change that to yellow. And now, what you can do, you can paint on there. So it's, it's quite a nice little paint on feature there. Darken, you can click on there and you can see then you can darken, make them all go darker. Lighten, obviously goes the other way, lighter. So it makes it, the tiles lighter. Tint, again, just apply there. Set the colour there. Let's well, say sometimes the colour there and there seems to go slightly, no, anyway, maybe it's my observation. But apply the colour there and you can see that tinting, that going all the way to red. And variability vary again. You can then set there. Unfortunately, it's not available there, but you can click on there to bring up the panel. Go there, you saturate, and you can then vary the colours that way, painting that off. Right, well, that's a run through of quite a few of the features, but there is a final feature which is quite nice. So you've got a, and I'm just going to quickly go for a selection. There's a selection. I'm just going to add that. I could, of course, do it around the whole thing, just create this, or any type of selection. So. So what you can do then, go to Effects and make the Zach again, go back into it, go to Stroke and then Stroke Selection. Now it uses what's currently there, the sizing. So if you go back to there and I'd gone for a say smaller size, that would have made them smaller. And so I actually can make it so small it doesn't actually appear, seem to appear to do anything. So just go there and that's it. Once you've applied it, you can click there and it will try and fill it in. You've got little bits of shards that appear in there. But basically, you can't overwrite what's already there. And again, it reflects the, the variability there. So if I actually had that down, and if I clear that now, yes, clear all that, and then go to here, stroke selection, you can see what it does. It reflects that the colour there. Okay, so there's also a fill on this one as well. And it doesn't appear to do anything. There probably is some feature, what it does, I do not know. So I have mastered that one. And so I'm just going to quickly add some more in there. Because I want to show you another feature of thing. And it doesn't reflect, doesn't the selection, it, it totally ignores selection. It, mosaics is a feature that sort of lives a life that's slightly separated from the rest. It's vector information that just doesn't seem to ignore some of the features of tool. Right, select none. I don't want to select there now. And once you've actually got that, of course, what you can do, you can actually go and now apply there, apply surface texture, and you can see paper. I don't want that one. I want that image luminance. And you've got now like a 3D there. Right, you've got that. You can go back into the effects, make mosaic. And I'm going to go to different color just so you can see the difference. And then I can apply again around there. So you can just quickly around the edges and you can also cry around. Nice. But you can see it doesn't obviously reflect the effect itself. It doesn't know what the effect was, so it doesn't store that. But it you can't draw on the thing. You can go in the gaps, the grouting, you change the grouting so you make it and make that smaller. You can fill it into the tiny little spaces in between. But basically it reflects the, the actual thing. So none of that's the touch. You can of course go out. And then go to effects, apply surface texture, and then modify those if you want. Maybe apply blur, etc. Focus. And I'm going to go for soften. Maybe not that much soften. And click OK. And again, you can go to back to Esoterica, make mosaic, and then change the color and apply again around the edges. Again, not touching the actual mosaics. Click OK. Now, you can also use the brush tools. So you can go here, real point, any of the brush tools. So you can just go there and you can actually smudge. So it's great for, if you've created a thing, you can actually apply other, obviously, other things oil, charcoal, whatever. Image hoses. You can also, of course, select, selection, control C, control V. Go there to look for the selection tool. And move it around <laughs> okay so there's really a whole range of things you can do one thing you can do with 
But unfortunately, because with this mosaic thing, it stores it really deep into the system. There's no freezing feature, as far as I can see. So you can't sort of like, you can clear them, you can do all that. But obviously, if you want to actually add more mosaics on top of that, there's one way around it. Just go File and Save, Save As, and then save as a PNG file, and then bring it back in again. It's not particularly, I found, elegant in terms of you can add but it seems to have a slightly odd way of working. Maybe it's a, needs some... Anyway, there are ways of doing it, obviously, so you can uh, use mosaic with mosaics, with mosaics, with mosaics. I hope you found that of interest. Thank you much.